Separate word art to fit your scrapbook page design using the lasso tool and a shortcut. Here's a preview of what we will be creating together. I will be showing you how to separate the word art into two pieces to fit the design of your page. This video is being filmed in expert mode of Photoshop Elements, but the instructions are exactly the same for Photoshop except where noted. Begin by creating a new document at 300 pixels per inch with a white background. I've created a 12 by 12 inch document. Open the word art that you would like to separate or the word art therapy Angie Briggs PNG file from the downloads. Not all word art will work for this technique. You will want to select word art that has words that do not overlap and have a transparent background. Word art strips will work, but not ones that have borders and word art stickers will not work. Let's get started by adding the word art to your new document. So get the move tool and in the tool options, uncheck auto select layer, Photoshop users uncheck auto select, but check show bounding box. Photoshop users check show transform controls. On the document, hold down the shift key and click and drag the word art onto the new document. Holding down the shift key while adding something to a document ensures that the item will land in the center of the document. Then to see the word art better, press Ctrl plus in Windows, that's Command plus on a Mac a few times to zoom in. To reposition the zoom, hold down the spacebar and click and drag on the document. Now let's separate the word art. Get the lasso tool and in the tool options, click on the new selection icon, set the feather to zero and check anti-aliasing. On the document, click and draw a selection around the part of the word art you want to move. Some word art words are very close together. Be careful to include only the words you want to separate in the selection. I'm going to choose the words travel is. To close the selection, return to the starting point and release the mouse. Then press shift control J in Windows, that's shift command J on a Mac to create a new layer via cut. Finally, we are going to move the word art piece into place. So get the move tool. On the document, click and drag the newly separated word art piece to a different position that complements the original piece. Press the left or right arrow keys to nudge the piece into place if necessary. Then finish your page as desired. Here is my finished page. I love how the word art fits with the composition of my page now. I also separated the word art strip into two pieces to fit my design as well. For a free PDF version of this video, click on the download link and then make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This has been Carla Shute from Digital Scrapper, the very best place on the web to find complete and professional instruction for digital scrapbooking. We help you get your stories told.